Good morning, everybody. We are ready to begin our study of the human body, the human body. Look, at there's Mr. Bones right behind me. He's excited to begin the study of the human body because that means he gets to be in every video, pretty much every video. Okay, today what we're going to do is just a general overview of the systems of the human body. So today, if we're going to, I'm going to have a PowerPoint in Bright Thinker, and you can just click through the PowerPoint and kind of follow along in that as we go along. I am also going to be reading a little bit from our um, Delta Science Reader. It's not something I'm going to put into Bright Thinker because it's not technically uh, what we're uh, it's not technically part of the lesson plan, but I think it has some good information and I did want to share it with you. Cells, tissues, organs, and organ systems. All living things or organisms are made up of basic units called cells. Cells are like tiny living building blocks. Some living cells are made up of just some living things are made up of just one cell, and other living things, such as humans, have trillions of cells. The human body has more than 200 different kinds of cells. Blood cells and muscle cells are two examples. Each kind of cell has a special job or a special function. A tissue is a group of cells of the same kind that work together. Your body has four main kinds of tissue. It has muscle tissue, which we'll learn about the rest of this week. And muscle tissue can shorten to move different parts of the body. It has nerve tissue, which carries signals to and from the brain. And we talked about that just a little bit right before spring break when we talked about how sound travels through your ear. We talked about the auditory nerve. It has connective tissue, which joins and supports different parts of your body. And it has epithelial tissue, which protects and lines parts of your body. The biggest example of that would be your skin. And the connective tissue, those would be like bones and ligaments and that kind of stuff. An organ is a body part or a structure made of two or more kinds of tissues. A heart is an organ. It is made of muscle tissue and other kinds of tissue. In fact, it is the strongest muscle in your body. Each organ does a special job in their body. For example, the skin is the body's largest organ. It covers and it protects the body. Okay, there's two pictures here, two different kinds of body tissue. One is the muscle and the other is the nerve. This is the muscle tissue. That's what that looks like. This is the nerve tissue. They look very different, do they not? An organ system includes organs and other body parts that work together to get an even bigger job done. So we have tissue, which is, a, well, actually we have um, cells, which are the very little building blocks. We have tissues, which is a group of cells. We have an organ, which is a body part or a body structure that made, is made up of two or more kinds of tissues. And then we have an organ system. This includes organs and other body parts that work together to get an even bigger job done. For example, the heart is an organ made of muscular of muscle tissue, and it is in the circulatory system. This system is what moves the blood through our body. Some organ systems need help, help the body take in food, water, and the air that it needs. The stomach is an organ in the digestive system. This system breaks down food into small particles called nutrients. The body uses nutrients for energy, growth, and repair. The lungs are organs in your respiratory system. This is a system that helps you breathe air to get oxygen. Oxygen is a gas that our body needs and our cells need. Other organ systems can help you walk and talk and sense what is all around you. Still other organ systems help your body get rid of wastes. All right, so here is the picture of what I was just talking about. Let me bring it close so you can see it. We have a cell, which is the basic building block, and then a bunch of cells make up tissues, and tissues, different kinds of tissue make up organs, 
And then organs make up organ systems, which make up the human body. All right, I am going to um, pull out my PowerPoint. I printed it out because I can't show it to you on my screen. It's just the way that it works. I have to figure something else out to do that. So the human body is a complex machine. That's what it is. It's a very complex machine. And it is a network, as we said, of systems that work together. It's a skeletal and muscular system called skeletal muscular system. And that gives your body shape, which allows you to stand and to move. So every movement that we make is happening because of our skeletal muscular system. We also have a circulatory system. And that pumps blood, brings oxygen and other nutrients to your cell. In other words, it circulates through your body. The circulatory system circulates. We also have a digestive system. Guess what that does? Yeah, it digests. It processes the food that we take in. The digestive system starts in your mouth, right here. And it ends as you eliminate the food. The nervous system is the force system that we're going to talk about. And it's a system that takes in information and responds. For example, your nervous system right now, what's working with you is your the, the visual so that you can look and watch the video and process that information through your eyes. We remember we talked about light and how it's processed. And that is sending nerves signals to your brain and that's how you're processing that. You're also hearing sound from the video. So as the sound comes into your outer ear and works its way from the funnel to the tunnel to the drum and then down into the middle ear where we have those three bones, the stirrup, the anvil and the hammer and then from there it goes into the cochlea which leads to the auditory nerve into your brain. So that's the nervous system. It takes in information and decides all of this is happening in, in split milliseconds. You're getting the information in. Your brain is processing, 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 and boom, sending the information out. But it happens in a split millisecond. So fast, we can't track it. Each system in our body is made up of different body parts or organs that work together. And body parts are made up of tiny little cells that are smaller than a period at the end of a sentence. Our bodies have billions of different types of snails, huh, cells. Okay, we're going to just do a quick overview today of the um, muscular. Actually, I think we're just going to do a quick overview of all of them. But here's the muscular system. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it very well. Let me fold it. But it will, like I said, it will be in Bright Thinker. So here is the muscular system. These muscles, your heart, and most of the organs in your digestive system are involuntary muscles. Most of those are involuntary muscles. Your, but the other ones are, are most of those muscles are voluntary muscles. So your pectorals, your deltoids, your biceps, your abdominal muscles, your quadriceps, which are on your legs, your trapezius, which is in the back, and your triceps, and your glutes, which are also in the back, your hamstrings, and your gastro... Wow. I don't think we learned that one. I can't even say it. Gastro... Nemesis, gastronemis. Wow. That's your Charlie horse. That's where you get Charlie horses in the back of your leg. All right, let's go on to the next. That was your muscle system. The second system we're going to study is the skeletal system. Now, the skeletal system, that gets Mr. Bones all excited because the skeletal system is all about him. The skeletal system has a cranium, which is this big head. It also has mandibles, which are these jaws. Those are called the mandibles, right, Mr. Bone? Yeah, yeah. Those are the man, that's the mandible. The scapula is right, oh, you probably can't see it. It's right up here. 
Um, what else do we learn? That's pointing to the wrong spot. It also has the rib cage. Sit up straight, Mr. Bones. My goodness. People are watching. It has this rib cage, the vertebrae. You can see that. That's his backbone. That's these bones in the back of his body, the vertebrae. Those are back there. The radius. Let's see if I can show it to you. Come on, Mr. Bones, turn. The radius. That's the bone in your arm. Um, it has the pelvis. This is considered the whole, this whole section here is the part of the pelvis. Your tailbone down here is called your coccyx. It's your tailbone in the back of your body at the very back. That's your tailbone at the bottom of your spine. It has your femur, which is this big bone in your leg, your patella, which is your kneecap. Okay, uncross your legs, Mr. Bones. I need your leg. It also has, whoops, we can't see that. Put your head up, put your, bone, your foot up there. It has the tibia, which is this little skinny bone on the inside of your leg. And it has the fibula, which is this other bone on the outer side of your leg. Whoops, sorry about that. Knocking you over now. Okay, let's get him sitting back up. Is that good, Mr. Bones? All righty, we're moving on. That's the skeletal system, and here's a picture of it. If you were here in person, you would actually get to see Mr. Bones in person and touch him. Uh, the, fourth, the third system we're going to talk about is the circulatory system, and as I said, that involves the heart muscle and all of the blood vessels in your body, because that basically is circulating the blood and the nutrients and the oxygen through your body. And then finally, oh no, not finally. Then we talk about the digestive system because this is only the fourth one. The digestive system that starts at your mouth and it ends when you eliminate the food. We'll talk about that in great detail. We're also gonna talk about your nervous system and that involves all of the nerves in your body and your brain. And then finally, I think there's one more page. Oh, this is what we talked about when we first started, that our body is made up of small parts. These small parts are cells. So the smallest part is a cell that we're going to talk about. The cell is the smallest part of our bodies. The next thing is tissue. Tissues is made up of a bunch of cells. So many, many cells together make up tissue. The next larger thing is an organ. An organ is made up of different kinds of tissues, at least two different kinds of tissues. Then we have an organ system. And the organ system is made up of more than one organ, a group of organs that form a system. For example, the digestive system, circulatory system, that. And then finally, the big picture is us. We are an organism or a living being, and we're made up of different organ systems. So let's go ahead and get out your interactive notebooks in science, your science interactive notebooks. Let me grab mine. I should have had that out already, but I didn't. Oh, goodness, that's not even the right one. Huh. You know what? Looks like that's going to be a separate video because... Let me grab that. I know I have it out here. I don't want to make another video for science. I grabbed my wrong folder when I brought it back to be by Mr. Bones. And that folder happened to be the folder for literacy, which we do not need. Okay, I've got my science interactive notebook right here. Go ahead and get yours out as well. Let me get out my pencil, my pen. And I'm going to turn to a new page because it's a new unit. And the new unit is the human body. So go ahead and put your heading on your paper. Well, if, you're, if you have a five-subject notebook, this would be the last subject in that notebook. Five-subject science interactive notebook. This would be the last section. Um, human body. Go ahead and put your name on your paper. Today's date, which is 329. 21, 
and the lesson. And today's lesson is Introduction to the Human Body. So intro is what I'm going to write. Intro to body. We'll know that that's human body. All right. So we just have very few notes that we're going to take today. Let me find the page that I have for my notes. Not that page. There it is. All right. So go ahead and put the heading as human, human body. That's the first big heading. And you're going to underline that. Human body. Okay, your first bullet point. Complex machine. Say it. Complex machine. Say it. Complex machine. Say it as you're writing it down. The human body is a complex machine. That is for sure. A complex machine. It is a network of systems that work together. Say it. A network of systems that work together. Say it. A network of systems that work together. Say it as you're writing it down. Network of systems that work together. Each system is made up of different body parts or organs. Say it. Each system is made up of body parts or organs. Say it. Each system is made up of body parts or organs. Each system is made up of body parts or organs. Okay. Organ. Wait, that's not right. We skipped a step in there. Let me find that step that skipped in this first part. Yeah. Organs are made up of different kinds of tissue. Say it. Organs are made up of different kinds of tissue. Say it. Organs are made up of different kinds of tissue. Say it as you write it down. Organs are made up. Organs are made up of different kinds of tissue. Yeah, that step is skipped in the first part. Okay. And then let's make sure that it's saying it properly. Yeah, no. Tissues are made up of many cells. Say it. Similar cells, I'm sorry. Tissues are made up of similar cells. Say it. Tissues are made up of many similar cells. Say it as you're writing it down. Tissues are made up of many similar cells. And then finally, cells are the smallest part of our body. Say it. Cells are the smallest part of our bodies. Say it. Cells are the smallest part of our bodies. Say it as you're writing it down. Cells are the smallest part of our bodies. 
Okay, now we're going to draw a picture that shows us how this system works together. Let me find my picture. Because we all know how great of an artist I am, right? Is there a better picture in here? Ah, there is. I'm going to use a picture out of the book. All right. So you are going to have four, four pictures on here. The first one is the cell. Go ahead and draw a picture of a cell. I'm going to write the word cell because, well, you know. A cell is just, I don't know, it can be any any real shape. So that's my cell. I just drew some geometric shapes in there to indicate that that was a cell. And a cell is made up, I'm, so I'm going to put an arrow pointing to the next step, which is what? Yes, tissue. Cell may... Many cells make up tissue. So I'm going to put a bunch of my cells together. And these are all the same kinds of cells that make up a tissue. So here's my tissue. And tissues, one or more kinds of tissues, make up an organ. So that's the next arrow, organ. All right. And I'm going to draw a heart. Uh, no, because I won't draw a heart that looks anything like a heart. Um, I think I can draw a stomach. I think I'm capable of that. Let's see what a stomach looks like. I think it looks like a little bladdery, bowly thing. Where's, your, where's my stomach? There's my stomach. Yeah, it does. I can draw a stomach. Maybe. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. So there's my organ. This organ happens to be a stomach. <laughs> Seemed like the easiest one to draw. Oh, I could have drawn a lung. Lungs are be easy too. Okay, and organs make up organ systems. So let's do an organ system. An organ system, I'm going to actually do the digestive system because I think that one's, that's the one I can, I can draw with minimal effort. Okay, it's got a mouth. Uh, there's my mouth. And the mouth has teeth in it and a tongue. Ugh. And then it goes stuff in the back and then it goes down the esophagus now comes the part i actually can draw and that's the stomach and then from the stomach we're going to put it in our intestine and they actually curl all around That's what the intestine does, kind of curls around and then eliminates. Okay, so this is an organ system. That's what this one is. There's my circle. Okay, so an organ system. Mine happens to be the a crude example of a digestive system. <laughs> this is their mouth. There's your esophagus and your stomach and your intestines. Okay, and then the organ system, we know that that makes up the organism and that's us. Organism, organism. Now I can draw a person. as good as the next guy. I guess I should give my guy a nose, give him some ears too, Got a little bit of hair. Okay, and that makes up the organism. So that's what your picture should look like. Of course, yours is probably much more artistic than mine. Oops, Mr. Little does not have to worry about me taking his job. And then here are the notes.
And that's all I got for you. I'll be back tomorrow and we'll go into more depth in the muscular system because that is what we're going to talk about this week is the muscular system. You guys have a great day. Bye.